Your Step-by-Step -step Guide to Measure Enzyme Activity for Phytus. Published by Creative Enzymes. About Phytus. Phytus is an extracellular enzyme which exists widely in nature and has been found in animals, plants and microorganisms. Phytus has been found in plant tissues such as grains, beans, vegetables, especially in germinating seeds and pollen. In addition, there are many kinds of microbial phytus in nature, such as bacteria, fungi, etc. It is quite significant for the application of phytus product to measure enzyme activity for phytus. The guide below specifically indicates methods and steps for phytus activity measurement. One principle. Phytus hydrolyzes substrate sodium phytate at a certain temperature and pH value to generate orthophosphoric acid and inositol derivatives. In acidic solution, the treatment with ammonium vanadium molybdate generates yellow and H4-3PO4 and H4VO3 metal.16 Mu3 complexes, which is determined by colorimetry at a wavelength of 415 nm. 2. Definition of Phytus Activity Unit under the condition of the sodium phytate concentration of 5.0 mol slash L, temperature of 37 degrees Celsius and pH 5.5, samples release an organic phosphorus of 1 mu mol from the sodium phytate per minute, which is a unit of phytus activity and expressed as U. Three, equipment, general laboratory equipment. Constant temperature water bath 37 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.1. Spectrophotometer. Magnetic stirrer. Vortex mixer. Acidity meter, accurate to two decimal places. Centrifuge, the rotating speed is over 4000 r slash minutes stopwatch. Four. Reagent. Reagents and water used in this standard refer to analytical purity and grade 3 water specified in gigabytes slash T6682. Do not use phosphorus cleaner for cleaning test containers. 5. Reagent preparation. 5.1 acetate buffer 1 C CH3 C00 3H20 of 0.25 mol slash L. Putting in hydrous sodium acetate of 20.52 grams into 1000 milliliters volumetric flask. Adding 900 milliliters water for dissolution. Adjusting pH to 5.50 plus slash dash 0.01 with glacial acetic acid. Applying distilled water to a constant volume of 1000 milliliters for storage at room temperature for two months. Five point two acetate buffer two C CH three C zero zero nor middle dot three H two O of zero point two five mol slash L. Putting sodium acetate rehydrate of thirty four point zero two grams, tridunx one hundred of zero point five grams, sev zero point five grams into one thousand milliliters volumetric flask, adding nine hundred milliliters water for dissolution. Adjusting pH to 5.50 plus slash dash 0.01 with glacial acetic acid. Applying distilled water to a constant volume of 1000 milliliters for storage at room temperature for two months. 5.3 sodium phytate solution. C C6 H6 O24 P6 no 12 of 7.5 mol slash L. Putting phytic acid sodium salt hydrate C6H6O24P6 no 12 of 0.6929 grams into 100 milliliters volumetric flask. Using acetate buffer 5.1 for dissolution and constant volume. 5.4 Saltpeter solution. 1 plus 2 aqueous solution. 5.5 100 grams slash 1 molybdic acid ammonium solution. Putting ammonium molybdate and H4 5 mo 7024 middle dot 4 H20 of 10 grams into 100 milliliters volumetric flask. 
adding ammonia water, 25% of 1.0 milliliters for dissolution and constant volume. Five point six two point three five grams slash L ammonium vanadate solution. Putting ammonium vanadate and H four VO three of zero point two three five grams into one hundred milliliters brown volumetric flask. Adding saltpeter solution five point four of two milliliters for water dissolution and constant volume, keeping one week validity without light. Five point seven color termination liquid. Using two saltpeter solution, 5.4 and one molybdic acid ammonium solution, 5.5 and one ammonium vanadate solution, 5.6 together. 6. Sample preparation. Taking a representative sample and splitting it to 200 grams by four point method. The phytus product doesn't need to be crushed. Phytus feed additive material in the feed need to be crushed through a 0.45 mm standard screen and put into a sealed container to prevent the change of sample composition. 7. Measuring Steps Absolute Method Arbitration Method Seven point one Standard Curve the standard potassium dehydrogen phosphate A.4.11 baked at 105 degrees Celsius to constant weight is accurately weight of 0.6804 grams and dissolved with acetate buffer A.5.1 in 100 milliliters volumetric flask. The constant volume is 100 milliliters and the concentration is 50.0 mol slash L. The linear regression equation, y equals x plus b, is listed with an organic phosphorus concentration as abscissa and absorbance as ordinate. 7.2 Preparation of Sample Solution Taking two samples with the accurate value of 0.0001 grams to 100 milliliters volumetric flask, Adding acetate buffer A.5.2 of 70 milliliters and magnetic rod to whisk at high speed on magnetic stirrer for 30 minutes. Applying acetate buffer A.5.2 for constant volume scale. Seven point three reaction. The 10 milliliters test tube is operated in the following order. During the reaction process. The time interval of adding reagents to each test tube is absolutely the same from the addition of substrate A.5.3, hydrolyzing at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. 7.4 Sample Measurement The reacted sample is kept at room temperature for 10 minutes. If turbidity occurs, the sample should be centrifuged for 10 minutes at 4000 R slash min on centrifuge and the supernatant should be adjusted to zero with standard curve blank. The phytus activity is calculated by linear regression equation. 8. Result Representation The results of two parallel samples are expressed by arithmetical averages and preserving integers. As for the relative deviation of two parallel determination values of the same sample, phytus product is not more than 8%. The feed sample added phytus, for example native wheat phytus, is not more than 10%. For more details, please kindly click https colon slash slash www.creative-enzymes.com. Thanks.